Welcome to Kingdoms, where all your nerdy dreams come true. This is our second episode of Season 3 of the Diamond Commander League. Here in the Diamond Commander League, we play high power EDH with a twist. We have deck building restrictions that allow us to accomplish achievements and win some prizes. For Episodes 1, 2, and 3 of this season, the achievements are to play a commander from the Strixhaven plane, have at least 10 Strixhaven cards in your deck, and not to have any instant or sorcery tutors in your deck. Players are not required to follow these restrictions, but it is encouraged. If you want to see more of our videos, please let us know by smashing the like button and consider joining the kingdom. Come join our Discord by becoming a Patreon and check out our new merch at kingdoms.tv. With that, let's check out our commanders and our decks for today's games. First we have Bryce playing Adrix and Nev Twincaster. Bryce's take on Edrix and Nev leans into many of the great token doubler spells. He also has an elf tribal theme to take advantage of their token and mana generating abilities. You might think to go Merfolk tribal, but elves are the blue-green champions in my book. His starting hand includes Pact of Negation, Soul Ring, Repudiate Replicate, Faded Infatuation, Orin Reef of Vastwood, Study Hall, and an Island. With Jeff playing Extus or Reek Overlord. This is a spicy deck. It has a number of different paths to a win. Aristocrats, Ad Nauseam, and Magecraft Storm with Underworld Breach to back them up. Lilia, I mean Professor Onyx, really feels at home in this deck. His starting hand includes Children of Corliss, Desperate Ritual, Flame Scroll Celebrant, Scroll Rack, Tormenting Voice, Scrubland, and Verdant Catacomb. We have Jordan playing Zephy Thunder Conductor. I'll be honest, when I see high casting cost spells in a red-blue shell, I almost always think it's going to be Joyra. However, with Safai's payoff, it might not stay that way. Get as much mana as you can, play huge spells, and let the lightning crash down. Conductor, Collector, whatever he is, he will lead you to victory. His starting hand includes Soul Ring, Treasure Cruise, Finale of Revelation, Thought Vessel, Temple of Epiphany, Training Center, and an Island. We have Carlos playing Veyron, Voice of Duality. Did you know there are quite a few wizards with triggered abilities? Well, Veyron does. This is a wizard tribal deck that looks to double up on triggers for value and eventually shoot off a number of infinite combos. After this, they may call it Wizardcraft. His starting hand includes Is It Signet, Thrill of Possibility, Expansion Explosion, Adelie's The Cinderwind, Sulphur Falls, and Two Islands. With that, let's jump into game one. Draw, Ornery, Vastwood, uh, pass turn. Alright, playing a Burnt Cat and Combs and passing. Untap. Ah, I will play a Training Center. I have a bonus, so I come back into turn one Soul Ring Oof. into Hot Vessel. I will pass the turn. Draw for turn, Island, pass. Draw, play an Island, another Soul Ring on the battlefield. I'll just play the first half of this. Incubation, top five cards of your library. You may reveal a creature card from among them and put it into your hand. Then I put the rest on the bottom of my library in any order. So five, the only creature out of all of them. Shuffle these up onto the bottom of the library. And pass turn. End of your turn, I'm gonna crack the bird catacombs. Bad lands. So my turn, draw. You guys know that you're my heroes. Drumland maybe is the worst one of all of them. I play Fermenting Voice, discard a card's additional cost, and discard Children of Court. That will be my turn. Untap. Draw. Play an island and cast my commander, Zaffy. I'll go ahead and pass the turn. Draw for turn. Play a mountain. Tiny bit of ramp with an is it signet. Pass turn. Draw. Play a tranquil thicket tapped. Four for my commander, Atrix Nav Twin Caster. Pass turn. Finally, I'm going to play Edit Heat. I'm going to play Dockside Extortionist. Blech. I waited one extra turn just to see if I could get more out of you guys and appreciate Carlos for coming through on me. Dang it. I'm going to sacrifice one of these for a swamp. I use that swamp to turn it into swamps and then sacrifice more for a plains and another swamp. And I'm going to be playing my commander all this turn. Other than that, actually, I am going to. Hey, right, thank you. Raw. Blue, blue, X equals four. Finale of Revelation. Cast that. Trigger. I get a scry one. And then I get myself a 4-4 four, four elemental because the spell costs us five or more. Beam. I'm going to attack one for a red and then play red elements of blast and counter. All right. It has been countered. I'm a very sad person. <laughs> then pass the turn. Draw for turn and play a sulfur falls. Because I counter, I play that instant though. I get a magecraft trigger. Yep. Tap two for arcane signet. Play this hidden commander. Adelie's the Cinderwind. Jeff, I'll attack you for two in the air. 
And after that, I will pass the turn. Withdraw island for turn. Play Dias Herald. That helps me. Activate foreign reef to put a 1-1 counter on a green creature that entered the battlefield this turn. Attack you since you're open, Carlos, for two. Okay. Pass turn. Combat. Put my Doxai Extortionate card in. I'll take one. I think that's fair. Oh, I'll put their no blocks. Desperate Ritual. Magecraft yeah. trigger. Two of that to play Scroll Rack. I'm going to pack the negation that. I don't want it to happen. Scroll Rack? Play Flame Scroll Celebrant. That ends my turn. Go. I am going to gain my one life back by Swiftwater Cliffs nice. and then attack Jeff because he hit me for. I will take it. Go ahead. Draw a card. Cast Baron. Cast Brainstorm, and Adelise will trigger. Varen does have his Magecraft ability. It triggers twice, and then Adelise's ability triggers twice. Nothing. I will draw three. This back on top, and this back on top. Play an island for land return. Send a 4-4 four, four flyer at Bryce. I'm going to I'm gonna reciprocate. And then I'll pass. take four. Yeah, I'll pass turn after that. Upkeep, trigger, pack, and negation. We'll tap these for that ability, and then I will draw for turn. Play an island, pass turn. There we go. Start by playing Kobolds of Kerr Keep. I'm going to play a uh, Pitiless Plunderer. Whenever the creature I control dies, create a treasure. That's my turn. I'd like to cast High Tide, if I may. Oh. Trigger the Zappy. I go ahead and resolve that Phase Craft trigger. Trying one. All right, let's. Scr- oh, I, I don't. You should scry better because I think we all saw that. Ah, okay. I did not need that power. Story. Then does High Tide resolve? I guess I cast this right now. This is Thrill of Possibilities. In addition to casting this, I'm also discarding a card. So I just discard a card and draw two cards. And that will trigger these guys. So for this turn. Uh, she's a 4-4, four, four, and they runs a 6-6. Six, six. I'll draw two. All right, cool. So high tide now resolve. All islands now tap for double. I am going to go ahead and play my Temple of Epiphany and scry one. I like to cast Treasure Curse. Trigger Magecraft. That's the most fair high tide I've ever seen. Magecraft, I'm going to go ahead and scry one if there's no responses. That I will keep on top. And then I will bring out my other elementals friend. <laughs> What's the difference? One says I'm scary, one says I'm not scary. That's the only thing. Go ahead and draw my three cards. I don't want to attack, so I'll just pass the turn. Draw for turn. Play a Fiery Eyelet. Attempt to cast a zombie Lady of Scrolls. I'll tap her to draw a card. Take a damage, I think, right? Yeah, you Did do. You? Yeah, that's the sad part about <laughs> this. I'll pass turn. Draw. Study Hall is my land for turn. Play a Wirewood Chandler. I'm tapping the Tranquil Thicket and leaving the Ornery for the Basswood open. Play Faded Infiltration, targeting my Wirewood Chandler. Put a token on the battlefield that's a copy of target creature you control. <laughs> if it's my turn, I scry two. Get two of them. Them just like that, so you know that they're copies behind it. And then I scry two. And this one's gonna go on top. This one will go on the bottom. I'm gonna tap Born Reef to give a 1 1 counter to all of my Wirewood Channelers. Take one damage, Bryce. Jeff, you were just so excited for that. Take one damage. <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> the guy's gotta do his job, okay? Pass turn. Let's attack with Exodus. I take passing turn, go. I'll untap. Some unused mana there, Jeff. Yeah, I can do other things. <laughs> I kinda wanna try something. Appropriate? <gasps> <laughs> yeah, triggers go on the stack. You get your guy. I do have a response. I will attempt to Narset's reversal it. <laughs> I take a damage from my land. Oh no. It's returned to your hand. Varen is triggered four times. Narset reversal's cast. Triggers Varen twice. Triggers at least twice. And then the copy of Expropriate will also trigger Varen twice, but not at least because it's a copy. So I get to expropriate. I don't know if I've ever cast expropriate in Commander. It's always just too intense. Starting with me, each player votes for time or money. For each time vote, take an extra turn after this one. For each money vote, choose a permanent owned by the voter and gain control of it. I believe I begin. I will choose taking an extra turn, so time. Money, yes. Time. What? Time? <laughs> what? You're giving him two t- oh. oh my god. I, 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 I don't know if I can afford to let him take something. <laughs> We're all just dead here. Money. <laughs> so I will take your commander, Bryce. And I think, yeah, I take yours as well, Jordan. I couldn't and... give him access. That was not going to happen. But Jordan needs to finish his turn, and then it, you'll take two turns, and then your turn. Right. Yeah. You understand that, Jeff. Three turns in oh, a row. Oh, I'm very aware of what he gets. <laughs> 
<laughs> I am done. Your guys are too big for me to attack you. I can't do anything. End of your turn. I do tap these three to draw three cards. Take three damage. Draw for turn. I just can't see anything bad happening. Well, you can't draw too many cards because Jeff's going to ping you. I know. That's actually really bad for me. Cast Firebrand Archer. Then I will cast Resculpt, a new card on your, I don't know, the guy that's pinging me. Jeff will exile it, and you get a 4-4 four, four blue and red elemental creature token. Because it's a non-creature spell you just cast, we all take one? You take two because Varen triggers Firebrand twice. Tap a zombie to draw a card. Adelies will trigger though, and that will get, all my wizards will get plus, plus two so far. Tap Adrix, draw a card, play a Frost Boil Snarl, and reveal an island, coming untapped. Draw another card, and then I'll draw another card. Cast a Rizmari Command, so I get to scry twice, get some pluses that don't matter at this point. You guys all take two, just from the cast. And then I get to choose two. Just remember, you would get two treasure tokens too if you chose to get a treasure token because of thank you, Trix and Nev. Thanks for that. That's a great, great reminder for me. I'm gonna draw two, discard two, and I'm gonna create a treasure, which will be two treasures, I guess. Oh yeah, I gotta scribe before that happens. Scribe one. Yeah, we'll leave that there. So that's both scries, and then I draw two and discard two. And discard the Temple of Epiphany Island. Now I'll go to the next turn. Draw for turn, play a mountain. Jordan's favorite card here. Young Pyromancer. Cast, Baral's Expertise. Or no, the spell goes on the stack. And all the triggers go on top of it. Yeah, okay. So bounce your Pitiless Splendor, dude. I'll bounce your two Wirewoods there, right? So those are my targets, excuse me. Scry first, so Scry. From just Zephi, I'm scrying twice. I'm getting four tokens because of Zephi and Adrix and Varen. I'm dealing you guys two damage. I'm getting four one ones because of these three. And, and then all of my wizards get plus two, plus two. Oh, Varen gets bigger. He's a six, he gets plus four, plus four. So, scry one and then one again. <laughs> I'll leave that one there. Get eight tokens. This is all before that happens. So you guys take two damage if you haven't already from the archer. I get four of each token and then now you guys bounce all your things if we resolve this. And then I put something with four or less into play. I'm gonna put in Ral Storm Conduit. He also deals damage like the archer. Do you have Carlos, four? Find a copy spell so we can end this. I'm trying, okay? I'm trying. I thought you found a copy spell on top. I just... Oh no. I'll I'll show you what's on top. It's just funny. Possibility stone. <laughs> <laughs> draw with the zombie. Draw with Adrix. I'll draw with Adelies. I think that's it. I'm gonna chaos warp your mana elf, and I, and I get a bunch more stuff. Scry oh, twice. Let's see. So chaos warp. I get a X permanent. You hit. It doesn't matter what I get. I can't do anything to stop what he's doing. So you guys will all take four damage. Well, I already scryed twice. Guns only get four because it only costs three. Oh, I get an island. Sweet. I'll scry with Ral. I will draw a card. I'll go to my next turn. Draw my card for turn. Cast Snap. Targeting one of your tokens there, Jordan. Twin cast. Snap. Then I will expansion on the twin cast. Thanks for helping me, you know, get there. You know, couldn't have done it without you. Live by the sword and die by the sword, right? Wow. That was one of the only times I was able to resolve expropriate and all the times I play EDH. And I even got an extra, extra turn. Pretty happy about that. For game two, Bryce's starting hand includes Priest of Titania, Biovisionary, Edric Spymaster of Trest, Doubling Season, Hornet Queen, Horn Reef the Vastwood, and Rogue's Passage. Carlos' starting hand includes Sky Diamond, Expansion Explosion, Chaos Warp, Electrolyze, Rowan Scholar of Sparks, Cascade Bluffs, and an Island. Jeff's starting hand includes Swords to Plowshares, Arcane Signet, Wheel of Misfortune, Ancient Tomb, Godless Shrine, Polluted Delta, and a Plains. Gordon's starting hand includes Wayfarer's Bauble, Visit Signet, Mystic Confluence, Inspiring Refrain, Reliquary Tower, and Island Enemy. Let's check out game two. Draw for turn. Horn Reef, Vastwood, and pass the turn. Draw for turn. Scalding turn. Gonna get a shock land and I'll be done. Right, my turn. Draw. Godless Shrine, go. Draw, play an island, play Wayfarer's Bauble, and pass the turn. Draw, play a Rogue's Passage, and then tap these two for Priest of Titania. Pass the turn. Draw for turn, play an island. I'll tap both for 
A sky diamond. Last turn. Draw. The ancient tomb. Two from it. A arcane signet. A dark confidant. I say, yeah, go. Draw. Play a mountain. Play is it signet. Pass the turn. The draw. Pass the turn right now. Draw a card. I'm going to play a cascade bluffs. Cast Electrolyze, with my targets being one damage to Priest of Titania and one damage to Dark Confidant. And then I will draw a card, and I'll pass turn. Draw. Play a Badlands, or play my commander. Go. Draw. Play Reliquary Tower. Cast Inspiring Refrain. Um, and then I will just go ahead and pass. Draw. Play Incubation Druid. Pass turn. Draw. Play Talrand. Sky Summoner. Gotta pass. Draw. Play a planes. We use that planes to play swords to plowshares on Talran. Trigger, by the way, and get my Dark Confidant back to my hand. We play the Dark Confidant. That is where I will end my turn. Upkeep. Remove a counter from Refrain. Draw. Play Seagate Reborn as my land for turn. Pass Veyron. Tap two. Sacrifice Bobble for a land. Then to play tapped. Pass the turn. Draw. Right now, play a Beastmaster's Ascension. Pass turn. Draw a card. I'm just going to play Diviner's Wand and pass turn. Upkeep. So I got to reveal for my Dark Confidant. Viscera Seer. Into my hand and losing one. Play Polluted Delta. Play Viscera Seer. Pass the turn. Upkeep. Remove a counter from Refrain. Draw for turn. Pass Peral, Chief of Compliance. Pass Safai, Thunder Conductor. And pass the turn. And I will uh, counter your commander. Okay, and that's the end of your turn. I'll draw. I'm going to play Reclamation Shage and destroy your Arcane Signet then, Jeff. And then I will pass turn. Draw a card. Cast my commander. He's a wizard, so the Diviner's Wand will attach to him. In response, I'm going to crack my fetch land. I'm going to go get Blood Crypt. Bring it into play untapped. Did you already take your one? No, I'm gonna be right now. No shuffle first, sorry. Go with that on the stack though. I'm gonna sack my Viscerous here to himself. Go scry one. I'm gonna tap it and then play red elemental blast and counter your commander. Okay. I'll then play Is It Boilerworks? Bouncing this island. Pass the turn. I assume you got a creature back from your red right elemental list. Our confidence trigger, reveal Valk at Awakening, draw, Arid Mesa, replay Vistress here, sacrifice Vistress here to himself, just try one, play Valk at Awakening, put number of cards from your hand on the bottom of my library, and then draw that many cards plus. With this trigger though too, I will return Vistress here to my hand, and put these two cards in the bottom of my library, draw that, we'll actually end my turn there. Upkeep, remove a counter, cast Inspiring Refrain, draw two cards, exile Refrain with three time count. Draw. Island. Ask Rowan, Scholar of Sparks. Uptick and deal three damage to each opponent. I will cast Seething Song. Ask my commander, Safai Thunder Conductor. Coming at you, Jeff. I will block with Dark Confidant. And then I will pass the turn. Draw, Elvis Arch Druid. Then I'm going to attack Arlos with the Reclamation Sage. No blocks. And put one counter on Beastmaster Ascension. Pass turn. Draw, Island for turn. Arcane Signet, play the Young Pyromancer, pass turn. Uh, at the end of your turn, actually, I'm gonna play Throw Possibility, as additional cost, I'm gonna discard a card. It'll be Vistra Seer. With the Mage Craft Trigger back on the stack, though, I will return Dark Confidant to my hand, actually, in this case. I will draw two cards. Pay one life, crack Arid Mesa, we'll go get a Plateau. My turn now, I'm tapping, playing Graven Cairns, play Impulsive Pilfer. I will play Village Rites as an additional cost. I will sacrifice the Impulsive Pilfer. The Magecraft Trigger on the stack now, though, I will return the Impulsive Pilfer to my hand. Also, creating a treasure when he died. And then I will go and draw two cards. To play Thrilling Discovery, trigger on the stack and return Viscerous here to my hand. I uh, gain two life. Or a Swamp and Dark Confidant. Draw. Do Ancient Tomb for two damage to me. Pours off Signet. This Seer. The Impulsive Offer. Pass there. Upkeep draw. Took it down. Drew a card. I would like to cast Jessica's Will. Ah. So I will exile the three and I will choose Bryce to add seven red mana to my mana pool. I hit Myriad Landscape, Apex of Power, and Blasphemous Act. Play the Myriad Landscape. So I have six red floating. I would love to cast. I'm warp. Does anybody have anything? No. Try. I don't want that. Make a 4-4 four, four in my turn. So. During your end step, attempt to chaos warp your commander. 
How about I Mystic Confluence and say no? Do you have enough mana? Oh yeah, it's two less. Yeah. If I am going to choose, so I'm going to choose Mana Leak and then draw two cards, which is going to trigger. I have two four fours. I'll scry first. Yeah, I'll put that on the bottom. And then I will draw two. Untap, go to my second turn. Down take this. Draw. Emblem, Rowan. And whenever I cast an instant or sorcery spell, I may pay two and cost. Which means he has plans for it though. Expropriate. How did you know? Keep that pretty thing on top. And then uh, starting with me, I'd like to choose time. I'd like to take an extra turn after this. Are you gonna pay two when you do that or can you? I cannot, I only have one mana up. Money? Yeah, money. Money as well. I'm just gonna sacrifice my commander to Vistress here. Sure. I would like to take your Elvish Arc Druid, if I may, Bryce. So there's the Elvis Arch Druid. Yay! Yours. Uh -huh. My favorite card, Young Pyromancer, if I may. And then from you, Jeff, I would love to take uh, the Ceres here. Let's go ahead and hit Carlos and Jeff. I'm gonna send a 4-4 four -four at each of you. No blocks. I will block with my Impulsive Flipper. That will evolve and I'll go into my next turn. Yeah, at the end of your turn though, I'm gonna cycle Street Rate. In essence, whenever I play a card, I can lose two life and draw a card in essence off of him. Untap, I will cast Firing Refrain, so it triggers again. I will go ahead and scry, I already know what's on top, so I'll leave it there. Young Pyromancer will make a 1-1 one, one, and I'll just- You get two of them though. I do get two of them. Oh, I actually get two four fours. I haven't, I've been doing that wrong. And then I have the Cirrus here. So I missed the first two, but the fourth yeah. one- Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. I have four four fours. Make life easy for us. Um, I'll draw two cards. I'll actually copy the spell with Rowan's emblem. Oh, I'll yeah. try again. And then I'll get yeah, two of each. So that'll bring me up to a total of four. And I will draw four cards and resuspend. You have two less Pyromancer elementals than you do the other ones. Oh, yes, because he doesn't. He only triggers on cast. So. That is correct. I'll go ahead and draw Crack. Go to Delta. I will fetch Shock. I'm going to cast Volcanic Vision triggers. So this will go up to six elementals. Third Young Pyromancer token. I will get back and warp two. Yes, it will do five damage to all creatures on the battle. Of your opponents, yeah. I'd like to go to combat. I have cast three spells. So Viren's an 8-8. 22 at Jeff. And then the rest, total of three going to Carlos. Yeah, no Are you going to use the Mana Dude too? I should use the Mana Dude at Jeff just in case he has some. For me, my effects are... I'm going to peace out. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> nice. Uh, fierce Guardianship. I get an extra Young Pyromaster token. Then we go to damage and I'm dead, so I'm good. I, I will be done after that. I have one mana. Draw this card. <laughs> oh no. Bryce, that's the saddest paid, game. And I will pass turn. Draw, play a Castle Vantress. Pass turn. All right. Untap. N44. Four four. Pick down. All right. I would like to cast M Ward. Triggers. With Rowan, you for sure at least get one turn, even if I counter it. Yes, because I am copying the spell. I'll help. go ahead and resolve these triggers first. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Being left on top. So, scry, scry. Attempt to counter it with the Insidious Will. I will cast Force of Will, pitching this, losing one life, trigger Brawl, and everything else. I will pay two, cast Expansion on my Insidious Will. Yeah, to counter the extra turn. Okay, but I'll Ugh. still get one extra turn after this. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't matter. I... I'll go ahead and use the first try and put that on the bottom now that I know that it's not gonna... So now the stack resolves. Okay, and... I get a try. Yeah. I'll go ahead and put that to the bottom. Try for my second one. Try that one. Two more Elementals for Force of Will. One more for Young Pyromancer. And then I will use Brawl's uh, loot ability since I did counter spell. Pitch that. I will take you out of the game, Carlos, with you with 10. I'll just untap and then just have the other 10 just go at Brian. Okay, yeah. Good game. Good game, guys. That last game feels a little bit more like Yu-Gi-Oh than Magic the Gathering. Instead of assembling Exodia, you just get all your opponent's commanders and uh, win. For game three, Jeff's starting hand includes Children of Corliss, Orzhov Signet, Tormenting Voice, Ashton's Altar, Bullcaster Mage, Lightstep Pathway, and a Bloodstained Mire. Carlos's starting hand includes Preordain, Thought Vessel, Twin Cast, Diviner's Wand, Saheeli Sublime Artificer, and two islands. Price's starting hand includes Elvish Harbinger, Imperious Perfect, Study Hall, Rogue's Passage, two islands, and a forest. Jordan's starting hand includes Pongify, Mindstone, Archmage Emeritus, Mnemonic Deluge, Frostboil Snarl, an island and a mountain. All right, here's game three. Draw, play Bloodstained Mire. I'm gonna go and crack that. Grab lands, play out my children, of course. And you can go, Carlos. Draw for turn, play an island, and I'll play a preordain. Actually, I think I leave them both there, and then draw a card. 
And pass turn. Draw an island. I got blue this time. Pass turn. All right. Uh, Frost, Boil, Snarl. I'll reveal an island and pass. Draw. Play my Seer Steps pathway. Pay one black and then play Village Rites. Oh, um, no. Children of Corliss. Play Impulsive Pilfer. Pass my turn. Go. Draw. Play a mountain. Play Thought Vessel. And pass turn. Draw another island and I'll pass turn. Untap. I will play the island y'all know about. Pass Mind Stone and pass. Draw. Do and play Tormenting Voice. Discard Zingra Autocrat. And play a land for the turn. Oh, Carlos. Draw. Play an island. Play a Sahili. Sublime Artificer. We'll cast Serum Visions. Draw a card. Try to put this on the bottom. I'll leave this one on the top. And it'll be done. Draw. Imperious Perfect. Pass turn. All right. Oh, cast Archmage Meritus. Ugh, we're playing so many similar cards. I wish I had that that guy. <laughs> I'm gonna yeah. crack the blue delta. Oh, go ahead. It's gonna be your turn after that. My turn. I'm tapping, drawing, play out Orzhov Signet, and I will use this to get two more to play out a Rakdos Signet. I will pass my turn and say Go Pro. Draw a card. Play a Varen. Cast Ot. So I scry one. Put that on the bottom, and then draw a card. I get two now. Three total. Pass the turn. Draw. Play another forest for my commander. Get your commander and a token producer. That's scary. No, it's not. (laughs) Then I'll attack Jeff. I will take two. Your turn, Jordan. Play a prismatic vista. Lightning Greaves. Go to equip the Archmage. I'll go ahead and pass Crack Prismatic to go look for an island. My turn? Yeah. I'm going to cycle Street Wraith. Doxai Extortionist. Curse these servos. Back four straight up. Go get Texas. Play Ashnot's Hall. Uh, Pognify Ander. Draw. Really, what I want to do is I want to pay nothing and deflecting swap that and change that to Carlos's commander, then to Baron. Okay. Deflecting swap, by the way, done. Get our turn straight right there. I'm done. Go, Carlos. Yeah, you could have done both thing in here and I could have got two. <laughs> It'll be a beast for now. Draw a card. I'm going to do Faithless Looting. Servo. Draw two. Discard a Brawl's Expertise. Diviner's Wand. Cast a Talisman of Creativity. It does trigger Tahili. She gets it off any non creature. Play Icecrown Scepter. A little twin cast. Pass the turn. Draw. Play Study Hall. I'm going to tap Elvish Warmaster. Reclamation Shage. Targeting Ashnod's Altar. Good job, Rice. Yeah, that's just what I'm, I'm just going to sacrifice the impulsive pill for those. The only thing I'm going to do get another treasure, really. Then I get two 1 1 L's. Pass turn. This feels terrible, but I need to draw cards and stuff. I'm going to Cyclonic Rift. They're uh, Isochron Scepter. Okay. Sure. Yeah, yeah, hit a lamp. Or I'll play Nizlin, I cast. It's Safari and equip Safari with Lightning. I'm going to go ahead and pass the turn. At the end of your turn, Michael Street Race. Right, my turn? Yeah, your turn. Go ahead. Draw. Another lamp, friend. Play out a Lotus Petal, Sedgemore Witch. That's my turn. Draw. Holy crap. Drew my first land for the game. On the second mountain. I'm going to cast Will, Scholar of Frost. Minus three him. Go down to one. And draw two cards. A seventh token. So many servos. Use Sahili's ability. The turn. I'm going to make one of my servos a mana rock. The turn. I'll tap the servo. And this island, my instants and sorceries cost one less, so I will attempt a frantic search. I'll get us another servo, and I'll draw two cards, discard two cards, and untap three lands. Discard gutter snipe and a land, because I'm dumb. <laughs> untap my three lands. So I will pass the turn. Draw another forest. Edrix by Master of Tress. <laughs> Carlos, I think oh. you want up for um, finding lands now. Trigger, Elvish Harbringer. I'm gonna go search my library for an elf card and reveal it. Wirewood Channeler, and put it on top of my library. Yeah. Oh, I'm ready to go ahead and go then, Bryce. Yep. All right, on top draw. I'm gonna cast myself a card that time warp. Uh, we'll start with a Pyroblast. Pyroblast is on the sex dome. And I'm gonna play Dual Caster Mage. There's Dual Caster Mage into the battlefield. 
It does. Wait, wait, wait. Maybe. Because if it resolves, it comes into play, copies the spell, and but then still counters it for you. By the way, for trigger stakes, I'm going to put Street Wraith back into my hand too for mm-hmm. Pirate Blast when it's cast. I'm going to let Dual Caster Mage resolve. And then Dual Caster Mage will copy Time Warp. In response to that, though, I will cycle Street Wraith. Time Warp copy on the stack. Still an opportunity for you to respond before Time Warp is copied and cast. Okay. Yeah, Street Wraith is not back just yet. Let's go down the stack until it puts the, the Magecraft trigger on the stack. Cast Insidious Will to change the target of your copy to me. Yeah, because Time Warp lets you target player which by the way i've also got two of these bad and technically also a cast trigger for sahili one on the stack carlos is going to get an extra turn after this my stuff's yep. all going to get countered and then i draw and make a 4-4 four, four copy we scry i did scry and you'll never guess what i stride into jeff what blasphemous act <laughs> boo so i will cast blasphemous scry which i think is an okay scry yeah i'll go ahead and leave that on top I get two life out of that. Sweet. I'm going to pass the turn to Carlos. Oh, no. It goes go to me, then Jeff, then me. It would have been a lot nicer to have two turns with Edric and all those creatures. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> all right. Draw for turn. Plus Will. Uh, Faithless looting. Actually, only costs two. A flashback. Draw two. And get a servo. Discard this Ice Crown Scepter. Discard Mind's Desire. Mystic Sanctuary will come in tapped. So I'm going to make... This into a, a mana rock and play a zombie. I have to take a damage from the for the mana rock. That's the turn. At the end of that turn, I'm gonna wreck this and go and get end the crypt. The play tapped, drawing Raven turns again. I'm gonna replay my commander. Say go. All right, I'll draw a card and a turn. Draw for turn. Cast ghostly flicker targeting these two lands. It's a Healy trigger on the stack, and I'll hold priority and cast Naru Meha, targeting Ghostly Flicker. Cast Ghostly Flicker, I copy it with Naru Meha's trigger. Oh, and then you're gonna I, use it to copy Naru Meha. The copy will target Naru Meha and, you know, a land. I didn't realize this, I can actually draw as many cards as I want to because she'll come in, I can tap her to with a zombie, and then she'll blink. I can... Twin Flame, a dual caster mage for infinite hasty dudes. Yeah, there you go. Jordan has nothing and Bryce has nothing, I'm guessing. So we're good. Wow, Prismari really showed up tonight with some help from Izzet and other red blue mages from across the realms. Easiest way to show your support is to smash the like button, subscribe to our channel, because we have no plans of stopping in the future and it's going to be a really fun ride. And if you'd like to take your support to the next level, come join our Patreon. We have a $2 Ronin tier. Gets you access to our Discord and a lot more. Won't regret it. Either way, thanks so much for watching and keep it nerdy.